This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV and Association MTK Global, joined by Cruiserweight Chris Billum smith here at Matchroom Fight Camp. Uh, how have you found this experience so far? Obviously very different to the normal one. Yes, yeah, uh, obviously different. Uh, it's spent first 20 hours here in, in my room, uh, not doing much apart from uh, playing a bit of PlayStation and uh, chatting with the, the lads on, on my phone and stuff. But um, definitely different, but uh, it's quite a, quite a cool vibe. You know, you know you're in in fight camp literally because you you know it's all all the focus everything around you is boxing it's hard to get away from it uh, apart from in your room really so uh but uh yeah it's definitely different wise move bringing a ps4 to be fair because those 20 hours were painful uh, yesterday <laughs> yeah mate it was uh it was it got me got me through right you take on uh nathan forley unbeaten um hasn't been in the same sort of similar opposition as you have obviously you fought uh top guys in the country so far but he hasn't but he is unbeaten so he's got that um, frame of mind going into this fight what do you know about Nathan haven't seen much of him you know he's only got a few fights on online um, just against journeyman really and you can't really take much from that but he's going to be hungry and I know how dangerous someone can be in that position obviously I was in that position against Richard Riappo a bit of an unknown um, unbeaten going in and, and it was uh, my first big opportunity and then so Nathan's going to come in, you know, all guns blazing on Friday night. He's going to be confident. Um, he looks like he's got quick hands. He's got a good amateur background and stuff like that. So uh, definitely be a live opponent. It'd be, a, I think it'll be a tricky night. Has it been hard to focus just purely on Friday because we've got all this time in, in this section of the hotel that we are? And obviously you want to put some wrongs right, especially with the React Poor rematch that could happen. And there's also other bigger fights uh, down the line for yourself in the cruiserweight division has that been hard to focus just on uh, Nathan or is that is your mind just on Friday night yeah I mean I think it's always good to to look forward to know where you're going and, and know what's beyond this fight because it, it can use it as motivation but then the um, the what's going on behind us? Darren's just trying to make me laugh um, <laughs> He, he succeeded, to be fair. He's proper, he always does. He's proper put me off there. But, um, yeah, you said you, it's always good to look forward. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, it, yeah, it's good to look, look forward and have, you know, future goals in, in mind and stuff. But I was obviously meant to box Nathan back in May, so I've, I've had my, my eyes set on him all the way since March. I think we had a press conference and the fight got announced. So, um, yeah, it's been a, a long time coming. And, and Friday, obviously, we, we get to face off. How's Lawrence doing? I'm sure you've done uh, many rounds with him uh, during the lockdown and more recently. Yeah, yeah, he's good. Obviously, he's got hopefully uh, got his world title fight next when, when eventually that happens. Uh, he's been great for me this camp. I'm very fortunate. We had a lot of sparring partners let us down, but Lawrence has stepped in every time, so very grateful for that. Um, and he's, he's sharp. Um, he's not usually that sharp uh, when he's that far out from a fight, but he's, he's definitely sharp at the moment. Um, and, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing him get his hands on that belt. How much do you think you've improved since uh, the React Ball fight? Yeah, a huge amount. I think it was a big night for me. It was, I learned a lot in that fight. Um, it was my first step up. It was my first, you know, big show on TV, on Sky and stuff, and the whole media and all that. And uh, I learned a lot. Um, but, yeah, I've learned so, so much. And even since the Craig Glover fight, I've learned a lot as well. And I really think I'm getting more confident with every spar and every training session um, and I think I've I've improved tenfold. Well, it's a big opportunity for yourself because 90% uh, of the fighters within the country can't get out at the moment. You're one of the lucky ones who can and there's only five fighters on the card so every, everyone who's tuning in will be watching this um, so you can really kind of steal the show with a, a top performance on Friday. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's obviously the plan is to, to put on a great performance and I am very grateful to have this opportunity because like you said, there's not many people are getting opportunities to fight at the moment um, so yeah that's the, the plan on Friday is to, to put put on a performance I think I will I feel I'm feeling really good in the gym and I've, even lockdown I was I've put on some size and, and filled into the weight better and and I've been doing other parts of training which have really massively benefited me uh, and I think that's, that's going to show on Friday night. All being well on Friday of course you don't want to overlook it but all being well for yourself is that react ball fight the one you're targeting or is there is it any big fight in the cruiserweight division i'm just asking that because i'm sure you do want to put that wrong right yeah absolutely i, I believe i won on the night and it, you know it doesn't you know it doesn't define my career that fight but i'd love to love the rematch and i think as a fighter any fighter who loses wants to put that you know uh put that wrong and make it right so 
it's obviously a fight I'm looking forward to, but there's also other fights maybe before then, or we could have it even further in the future. Uh, Tommy McCarthy, Eddie mentioned the other day, that fight for the European, I'd absolutely love that fight. Obviously that's been vacated now by Lawrence, so... Yeah, so he's got vacated to, to fight for the world. So I think Tony McCarthy's mandatory and Eddie said he'd love to make that fight. And that's another fight I'd love. So the fights are there, the, the, the massive fights are there. So, you know, I've got to win on, on Friday for, for those fights to happen. So the, the focus is on that. But um, like I said before, you've got to have those future goals as well. Well, yeah, all being well on Friday. And then I'm sure you'll be in some big fights because the cruiserweight division domestically is actually booming at the moment. So, yeah. You're in, a, you're in a good weight class. Chris, thank you for your time and uh, we'll catch a word after your fight on Friday, all right? Nice one. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Cheers.